four years ago to the support, encouragement, and some small resources of the Indigenous Food Circle and the Understanding Our Food Systems Project, the White Sand Health Centre created a gardening support program which enabled community members to build and start household gardens. In 2017, there were little to no gardens in the First Nation, but now, today, in August 2020, there are 42 household gardens and one community garden at the Health Centre that acts as the heart of White Sands Gardening and Food Systems Reclamation. We were invited to come and capture what they've accomplished with their garden so far. One of the gardeners from the community, Barbara Dobledge, was happy to chat with us about her gardening experience. 14, 15, 16, 17. I got like 17 tomatoes growing. They're actually coming alive. My name is Barb Dobledge. I'm the owner of this beautiful garden, of this tomato garden, <laughs> what's left of it. Uh, I took out all my onions pretty much, I left two. Um, I took out, well, I, I didn't take out my carrots, I think a lot of the grasshoppers ate my carrots and I had two rows of um, radish that is gone. I pulled out a few of them but the grasshoppers got the majority of them. Same thing with my lettuce, I've only got one clump left, one cluster left, but I got 17 tomatoes I can share. Um, my potatoes, they don't seem to be, they seem to be rotting. I, I was waiting and waiting, but I think the frost got a hold of them. Other than that, gardening has been, um, this is my second year doing the garden. I'm learning as I go. I've enjoyed gardening. It's, it's been a, I didn't have to do this this year, but I did it anyway. And I'll probably do it again next year. Through the Household Gardening Support Program, raised beds were built, seeds were provided, and soil was purchased and brought in from Thunder Bay. The Health Centre provided the supplies, tools, and materials, and the community garden became a place of gathering. Knowledge was shared as the gardens grew, so did the community. Today, while we were in White Sand, two beautiful things happened. The community gathered to harvest the vegetables at the health center and we brought in partner organization Roots to Harvest to speak with the gardeners and provide tips and tricks. We discussed what each family was growing and why, challenges and successes of each garden and felt the excitement about the upcoming community soup dinner. <laughs> Supporting indigenous food system reclamation is so important and White Sand is a prime example of this. We saw how a little bit of support can go a long way and grow with community momentum and interest. This project ignites community sustainability and household sovereignty. Although White Sand is not considered a remote community, their geographic location prohibits them from accessing fresh produce and gardening supplies such as soil or expertise. This project enabled the community members to control and determine that I'm more at a household level. Projects like this mean everything to the Indigenous Food Circle. The relationships and friendships that have blossomed from the continued work with White Sand is something we can never replace. The work and commitment the community has enacted year after year tells us the level of self-determination this community and its families have. Chimigwich, White Sand First Nation.